Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Lucy, thanks for being here. And if you're not new, if you've watched others of my videos, then love you, thanks for coming back. So, I'm really excited about today's video. I personally get in the Christmas spirit about November 1st. So I have been oozing Christmas spirit for weeks. I've been listening to my Christmas playlists. I've been watching my Christmas movies. I'm ready. I know a lot of people like to wait till December 1st, but this video can't wait till December 1st because you need to have bought your advent calendar by then. And today I'm gonna to be comparing two beauty advent calendars. So I've got the Marks and Spencers beauty one and the number seven one. I had the Marks and Spencers one last year and loved it, but I have had rave reviews about the number seven one too. So I thought let's compare them. Number seven beauty advent calendar, here it is. This one cost 42 pounds and it has 173 pounds 50 worth of gifts inside. So what a steal, it looks like this. Very shiny, very festive, I love. We get a gift on Christmas day. I don't like it when my advent calendar ends on Christmas Eve. It's the most important day. So that's the number seven one. Marks and Spencer's one here. So this is 40 pounds, but you have to spend 25 pounds to get it at 40 pounds. So unless there's something you actually want for 25 pounds in Marks and Spencer's, which there often is, but if there isn't, then you, you actually really have to spend 65 pounds, but it has got 300 pounds worth of gifts inside. So living for that, cute, cute. It looks the same as it did last year, nice little star. So I was thinking about doing day one of each, day two of each, day three of each, but then I thought that might get really confusing. So I'm just gonna go through them individually. So I'm gonna start with the m &S Beauty one, purely because I'm really intrigued of if it's gonna be much different to last year. Where's number one? It's right here, it's right here, we've got it. Okay, taking that out. This is a big one for day one. Love a full size product, love a bargain. So it says happy new hair on it. We're thinking that is gonna be a hair product, which I love. I'm always straightening, curling, blow drying my hair. So I need all the help I can get in that department. This video is gonna be a real test of me knowing brand names, which I feel like I always pronounce things wrong. So if I'm pronouncing something wrong, so soz, just go with it. So Avida, I'm saying Avida. This is their Damage Remedy Daily Repair. Daily Hair Repair, Instant Visible Repair, protects from heat styling, great. That is literally what I need. Let's give that a smell. First I thought it didn't really smell of anything, but it actually smells really nice and fresh. Yay for day one, what a lovely treat on the 1st of December. We're starting to fall a bit here, oh well. We've got number two up here, I found that one a lot easier, goody. Number two says, wide-eyed wonder. Your girl's 27 next year, well actually in January. I'm starting to see wrinkles, so this better be an eye cream. Let's have a look. It's not, but it is a mascara and I'll never say no to that. We got this Lash Alert Mascara Wake Up and Go last year. It was actually so good, really lengthening. It's only small, so you go through it quite quickly, but I loved this. Infused with caffeine to stimulate growth. Yes, oh, three is big, let's see. The box is big, that doesn't necessarily mean what's inside is. It just says tis the season. So I wonder what's gonna be in there. This is the M&S Beauty targeted treatment for eyes and lips. She's versatile. She can go on eyes and lips. We get dry lips in winter. Everybody needs some eye cream. Love, thank you, day three. Moving on to day four. What have we got? I feel like this is like Christmas day. I'm opening all these gifts, but I'm gonna be really sad going through December. You know I'm gonna box all these back up and do this all again. Brand name alert, how do I say this? Alpha, Alpha H? I'm going with Alpha. Um, balancing cleanser with rose, nice. The rose is really soothing for the skin. I'm actually using a rose cleanser and moisturizer at the moment, so this will go nicely with my routine. Let's give it a smell. It's closed, it's a bit pink. Mmm, smells really nice. Excited to use that cleanser, yay. I can't be bothered to keep holding up the calendar every time. You've seen what it looks like. I hope that's okay. So day five, green skin. Yay, that's what we all want. What's it gonna be? Ooh, Ren, revitalizing night cream. So I have got oily skin, but also 
dehydrated skin. I mean, how irritating. So in the day, I need a really light cream, which means at night, because I'm so dehydrated, I like a thick night cream. So I'm always buzzing to try a new one. Combat's first signs of aging, thank you. I need that all skin types. Day six is shaped like this. I think this is gonna be an eyeliner. We got an eyeliner last year. And what does it say? Party eye perfection. You know it's an eyeliner. Autograph, so M&S's brand. Uh, coal eyeliner. Let's draw that on. Oh, that's nice. It went on really easily and didn't pull out of skin at all. Really waxy, perfect for smudging as well if you want those smoky, smudgy party eyes this Christmas. So I've had eye pencils before that when you're like drawing them, you're having to like pull your skin when you're putting them on and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm aging myself even more. So this was really easy to draw on. So buzz for some smoky Christmas looks. I think this is gonna be a nail polish. We, I don't know if different people get different colors in their calendars, but last year we got this like deep red nail polish and I do get my nails done. But when I'm having a break from acrylics, I did actually use this nail polish a lot and on my toes because it just lasted so well. It was really nice, thick. You didn't really need many coats. Oh, hello. Nails Ink. It wasn't this brand last year, but everybody knows Nails Ink is grey and it's a pink sparkly colour, which I love. Perfect for party time. Day eight, the after party essential. We got this last year. M&S Beauty's Ultimate Sleep Cream. I was addicted to this. It literally made my skin feel so smooth, so hydrated, so great going to bed every night. Buzzing for this. Yay for another little one of those. Nine feels like a big product. It says happy and bright. So let's see what's in there. Oh, it is quite big. Oh, I'm really happy about this. For me, this M&S Beauty Advent Calendar, the reason I loved it so much last year was because I found out about so many brands that I'd never tried before. One thing I did find was Philip Kingsley hair stuff. So last year we got an elasticizer, I think that's how you say it. And the amount of compliments I would get the day after sleeping with this elasticizer on this cream was crazy. People would be like, your hair looks so bouncy today. Your hair looks so shiny today. And I was like, damn, I need to sleep in this cream every night but it's expensive. So yay, we've got more Philip Kingsley this year. We have got bodybuilding, weightless shampoo, cleanses while packing volume and bounce into fine limp hair. I wouldn't really describe my hair as fine or limp, but I mean, I'm always here for more bounce. I will put a link here for my bouncy blow dry tutorial that I did. I'm here for the bouncy hair, I'm here for the big hair. So if this shampoo can give me more of that, then yes. Day 10, flawlessly festive. Hmm, is it gonna be a primer? Is it gonna be foundation? Let's see. No idea how to say this brand, NYX. Multi correction gel cream. Cool, apply in the morning to the face and neck. Well, I'm thinking under my foundation then that is gonna make me flawless. So buzz to try that. Really cute little packaging. So very happy with that. Day 11, bright and beautiful. What are you gonna be? You are Philorgia Supreme Multi Correction Cream. Another correction cream. I mean, they're only small. You wake up in the morning, you think, I wanna feel a bit different today put on a new correction cream. That's cute and I can't wait to compare it with the other one and see which brand I prefer. Number 12 feels big and you know I'm buzzing. It says pampered and party ready. I feel like I'm always party ready. I do enjoy a party. It says coconut on the front and I love the smell of coconut. So let's see what we've got. Beautiful butters, deeply moisturizing. I can't speak. Beautiful butters, deeply moisturizing body butter with natural coconut oil to smooth and protect for dry to very dry skin. And whose skin doesn't go dry over the winter period anyway? Let's give this a smell. Oh, wow. So cute and creamy. Oh, I'm gonna have to just stick my finger in that. Ooh, oh my God, I love it. Oh my God, that feels so nice on my skin. Yes, that smells so good. 13, festively fragrant. I flipping love perfumes and trying new perfumes. We got a perfume in last year's one and it was just like this. I think it might have even have been this brand as well. Shea and Blue. Um, it was the perfect handbag size. You know, you want to top up over the day at work and these are perfect to keep in your handbag. So, what flavor is this? Tell me, tell me. Oh, white peaches, ooh. Cute little package, let's get that open and smell it. This definitely is the same brand as last year, I remember the bottle, so let's spray. The moment of truth, am I gonna like it? I am quite fussy with perfume. I like a really 
musky smell. Oh, it's nice. It's sweeter than I'd normally go. But I'm not complaining about smelling like that. That smells lovely. Number 14, another piece of the star. Treat yourself. I'm always treating myself. That's half the problem, really. Oh, Emma Hardy, purifying pink clay detox mask. I am a big fan of the, what's it called? Sand and Sky pink clay mask, that Australian one. But it is quite expensive and I have run out. Um, it's definitely on my Christmas list. But yay that I've got one here. Deeply cleanses, purifies and balances the skin. I suffer from oil, like I said, blackheads, and I find that pink clay masks really help with that. Here it is. I've already gone in and taken the little silver thing off because, you know, she learns from her mistakes. So, look at that cute and pink. I can't wait to put that on and make my paws all go away. Thank you. Number 15, I feel like we're flying through December. Um, a gift for your hair, another one, yay. Percy and Reed London, perfectly perfecting Wonder Balm. I think we got one of these last year and you know what? I haven't even opened it yet. Helps give you deep breath, moisture, shine, smoothness, definition, softness, light hold, high humidity protection and manageability. Okay, I should have used last year's. Uh, if I didn't know it could do all of that, so buzzing to try this. Number 16, oh so kissable. What have we got? Lipstick, lip balm maybe we got a skin one last year we've got a skin one again MS beauty time skin cool so limited edition minty lip fix i have got legit no lips i literally overlined them to the max and they're still no lips and i feel like a minty tingle really plumps them a little bit so fun can't wait to be all minty and kissable number 17 feel nourished MS Beauty Pure Natural Beauty Super Hydrate Day Cream, SPF 15. So I'm really trying to get into wearing an SPF every day because like I said, 27 in January, not wanting any more wrinkles than I've already got. It says it's non-greasy. So for someone like me with oily skin, that's really important. Number 18 says happiness for hands. I'm thinking this is gonna be a hand cream. So two things that I'm learning as I get older, hand cream and neck cream. Because your neck and your hands are really what gives away your age. I'm hoping there's gonna be a neck cream in here. We got uh, mini neck cream last year and I really loved it and I haven't bought one ever since and I need to here's another brand name I don't know Locatan Locatan you know it you'll know it dry skin hand cream great does it smell of anything I haven't taken the silver thing off please don't be one there isn't one yeah it doesn't smell of much, just quite fresh, but I've had this hand cream before. Number 19, Sweet Dreams. This feels like a full-size product. And I know that M&S sell the pillow spray brand I use. Lavender is my favorite smell in the world. So this says Sweet Dreams. Please be a This Works Lavender Pillow Spray because I'm nearly out of mine. Please, please, please. But if it is, I'm psychic and I need to switch my channel from beauty to psychic readings. Oh, it is. This works, sleep together calming spray. Lavender and chamomile. Let's smell. I haven't got a lavender and chamomile. I've got lavender at the moment, so. Oh my days, that is heavenly. I'm so buzzing about that. That was on my Christmas list. Well, now I've got it. Yay, 20. Brush up on beauty. We got a brush last year. It was really nice. So we've got another brush. This is a double-ended eyeshadow brush by Autograph, which is m &S own brand. Nice bigger one this end and a smaller one this end. Perfect, super soft. Nothing's coming out, so buzz for that. Ooh, exciting. I used my James Charles palette today. 21, mistletoe ready. I'm mistletoe ready with my minty lip balm. What have we got? Got Stila, Stila. Ooh, red Christmas vibes. Buzzing for this, look at that color. That is serious. Look at the intensity of that with my little smoked out eyeliner that I did earlier. That is Christmas party R us. Day 22, Father Christmas is almost with us. What have we got? Ready to party. I've already said I'm always ready to party. Primer, I love a primer. Luminosity Radiant Skin Primer. Looks lit from within. Okay. Happy about that, always buzzing to give a new primer a go. 23, the gift of glow. I mean, that is the ultimate gift you can give really, isn't it? This smells really good, like through this. Oh, Murad, Murad, I've heard of that brand. Age reform, that's what we need. 
AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser. This smells absolutely sensational. Oh my God, it's going everywhere. Oh, oh, she's not professional yet. Really tiny little bits in there for exfoliating, but not harsh at all. Smells 10 out of 10, buzzing to use that. I need to go and clean that up, I'll be right back. Going on to day 24, highlight of the season. Could it be a highlighter? I will be buzzing if it is. It is. Per PUR Skin Perfecting Powder Afterglow Highlighter. Oh my god. We didn't get a highlighter last year. It's difficult to see because it's so reflective, but cute. Then opening the box, we've got this. Let's do a little test on my hand along with my other two. Pop that along there. Ooh, wow. But that is beaut. It also has a scent. Wow. It's like vanilla -y. That is delicious. Christmas Day is upon us. Merry Christmas. It feels full size. It says Merry Christmas. What else did I expect it to say? Let's have a look. You know, I just told you earlier that we got a neck cream. We've got the full size of the neck cream, Huns. I mean, absolutely look at that. What more do you want? And oh my days, Prey, Pry, P-R-A-I, Ageless Throat and Decolletage Night Cream. Holy moly, this has made my Christmas day. This honestly made my neck feel 12 years old. It felt so good, so I'm literally so buzzing that we got full size, yay! Hello again. In true me style, I didn't charge my camera and it died incredibly rude when I'm trying to film. So it's the next day, welcome back. And let's do the number seven advent calendar. I watched the footage back from yesterday. Number one was staring right at me and I was like, where is it? You must be watching like... Anyway, I've already seen number one on this calendar and it's here, so let's pop that open. I mean, I was just about to be like, we've got a number seven. The whole thing's gonna be number seven. This is not like the m &S one, so no point saying the brand. We've got a skin illuminator, natural looking radiance for a beautiful glow. So it says on the back that this can be used three ways, either as a primer, mixed in with your foundation, or as a highlighter, so multiple uses buzzing about that day two up here protect and perfect intense serum nice i love a serum only small but serum goes a long way and the protect and perfect range is divine on the skin so woohoo day three is quite slim i feel like this might be a brush or an eyeliner or something if i can get in oh it's an eyeliner and I'm gonna draw it on my hand like yesterday and compare with how the m &S one felt. Yesterday I was saying that it was really smudgy and really waxy on my hand, really went on really nicely. So let's try this one. Same, gorge. Nice deep black color and good for smudging as well. Lovely. Day four, tweezers, that is good. So I'm always on the hunt for a good pair of tweezers, so great. It's really nice to have a variation of stuff rather than just skincare and makeup, like to have handy little things like that. So thank you, number seven. Day five, nourishing nail and cuticle care. Great for winter. It says it provides continuous moisture to nourish and soothe and promotes nail growth. Day six, we are flying through. <gasps> nail polish, oh, number seven nail polish is really nice. I feel like number seven is really nice in general. Like, I don't think I've ever been let down by a number seven product. Right, dark blue is legit one of my favorite colors in the world, and this is beautiful. I'm literally even considering painting that over my acrylics because I love that color so much. Perfect for this time of year. Gorge, gorge, gorge. Oh, it's got little writing in it, and I didn't notice. Where's number seven? This is kind of a long box. I feel like. Is this gonna be a brush? It's not, it's a mascara. So it's that intense volume mascara. I used to literally, this was my ride or die for years. Now I'm all about the Charlotte Tilbury, but I know this is an amazing mascara. Visibly, visibly builds volume with perfect separation for lusher lashes. I'll show you the brush. Had to put my hand over for the camera to focus. Sorry about that, but that is a beaut of a brush and it's full size and you know we love a full size product behind that box it said lashes for days oh this is a big box oh 
And this is something that we didn't get in the Marks and Spencers one, which I love and I'm obsessed with and do every weekend, which is a peel off mask. I mean, we did get the pink clay mask, but I love a, like, you know, a sheet mask. Instant results, revitalizing peel off mask. I am buzzing about that. I love a mask. So I think that is fab to get one of those in here. Number nine. Oh, it says just perfect, but it's a piece of paper weird your free number seven lash impact lash serum valid from october to feb they know there's people like me opening this early i mean that is really good because lash serum love that especially when you know i'm putting on fake lashes all the time sometimes i get lash extensions so a serum is going to be great but i that i have to go into boots and get it whatever i won't say no to a free thing so thank you number seven number ten Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Day Cream. I love a day cream, they're so much lighter and I'm focusing on SPF and this has got an SPF of 15. That said on the box, smoothly does it. Day 11. Oh my God, I didn't think we'd get this. I use a beauty blender to put my foundation on and I always just use that one, well, by Beauty Blending. I've tried the Real Techniques one, I've tried other ones, but I've just never loved them that much. But I've heard amazing things about the number seven one and we've got it. It feels so thick and not like it's gonna fall apart on my face like other ones did. It's got these two straight sides which are perfect for like going under the eye and contouring. When I'm putting powder on under my eyes, I could use this side and go under like that. When I have contoured and I want to brighten up the lower bit, say some of the contour had fallen down here, you can like swipe that along there. So I'm actually so buzzing that you get this in here. Yay. Number 12 another voucher imagine if you thought right i got that voucher i'll go to boots today two days later you're having to go to boots again they're gonna know me by name at this rate so your free number seven stay perfect eyeshadow worth seven pounds i mean great i love an eyeshadow if you can't tell but ag that i'm going to boots again number 13 it's a long box again oh a lip cream I don't know if different people get different colours, but this one is perfect for me. It's a perfect pinky colour with a bit of sparkle and it's really glossy. It feels like it's going to be really moisturising and nice on my lips, so yay. That box said pucker up. Day 14, a big box again. There's quite a few big ones. Makeup wipes. This has got a really good variation. We've got skincare, we've got makeup, we've got hand and nail care, we've got tweezers, we've got a beauty blender, we've got makeup wipes. You're going to your Christmas party, you'll come home, you've had a few drinks, you can't be bothered. Have these on your website. Great. Speaking from experience there. Another big box. We've got another mask, but this time it's an eye mask. I've never actually tried a specific eye mask. I see loads on Instagram and stuff and always think, oh, I wanna buy them. But I just haven't, and it's so cool. Same as the other one, instant results revitalizing. Hydrogel eye mask for bright and awake looking eyes. Very nice. 16, a little brush, brush hour it says. Let's see how it feels feels gorge on my hand. It's only a small brush, but I do think brushes like this are underrated. Weekend away, you don't wanna take your big palette and your big brushes and everything. A little brush like this and a mini eyeshadow palette, sorted. Number 17. More Protect and Perfect, fave. Eye cream. They're all about the eyes, aren't they? I'm loving that though. Number 18. Hmm, what do I think this is gonna be? Maybe a lip liner, oh no another eyeliner but last time we got a pencil one and this time we've got a liquid a felt tip liner i love a felt tip liner once again with the hand here's the tip of the eyeliner looks lovely and sharp i've just drawn a line on my hand look how thin and precise that can be that is going to be great number 19. we are nearly at christmas day i don't want to leave you radiant results daily face polish this says it will gently polish away dull surface skin cells and impurities let's feel that just testing it out doesn't have a smell the other one smelled amazing 
but it does have the really tiny little grains in so these are going to feel foul on the skin once a week a nice exfoliation really makes the surface of my skin feel reset rather than having all these bumps on it and stuff like that so yay to try those two number 20 more protect and perfect night cream oh yeah they've given us a bit of a bigger bottle of this probably because they know people lather on the night cream plus you want to be putting this all down your neck as well so lovely also the one good thing about and i don't know if this makes a difference but one good thing about having a box that is all the same brand is you know all the products will be working together well so i've got a perfect and perfect i can't even say that perfect perfect and protect night cream day cream i've got that eye cream i've got the serum so i feel like all the ingredients will be working well together so love that for me 21 it's a lip liner oh my god and it's the perfect color to go with the lip uh, crayon that we got as well i can't get my camera to focus on this so i'm just going to show you with my face in so it's a precious oh can someone get me a speech therapist or something a precision lip pencil. I'm gonna put it along the top with the crayon on my hand. It will go really well under that lip crayon. So the main color will be coming from the liner and then the lip crayon on top will just really hydrate that and give a nice glossy finish. So beautiful, happy about that. And I think that is so important as well when brands are doing our calendars that if you're gonna give us an eyeshadow palette and an eyeliner or a lip liner and a lipstick or something, make sure the colors go <laughs> so we can use it all together. 22. Lime Corrector Serum. Nice. It's tiny, but like I said before, I'm dropping it. You don't need serums to be huge. You only need a tiny amount. They really do spread. That is going to be really gorgeous around my eyes and maybe parts of my neck and forehead as well. So let's get rid of those lines. That box said the extra boost. 23 Christmas Eve Eve. Airbrush Away Primer. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So here we have that. I have already pre-opened it just because I was wondering with the airbrush, is it gonna be kind of foundation colored? But it's not, it's white. It says, flawless looking skin, perfect base for your foundation. Pores and lines appear to disappear. That's what we want. I do tend to stick to kind of mattifying primers normally, but cool to try a different one, one for lines and pores, because I have got the open pores, so yes. 24. This is quite a nice size box. It's got a small door, but a big square. What's in here? Blusher. Blushing beauty, it says. I feel like blush has really had its year in 2019. People are on board with it. It used to be like, I haven't worn blush since I was like five and playing with makeup. And now everybody wears blush. And number seven have been in the blush game for years. My mum always used to have these. Damson Mist color we've got, really nice pink. These are really lovely blushes, so I'm really happy we got one of those included. That was a nice little Christmas Eve treat. Christmas Day, where art thou? Here. Merry Christmas, everyone, again. Ooh, a lip gloss. Okay, so we've had a lip liner, a lip crayon. Wow, and now we've got a lip gloss. Okay, all the lip options, but I like that. I feel like I was more enthused about this Christmas Day present we got with the Marks and Spencers one. Purely because I love that neck cream and I can't believe we got a full size on this year. But I mean, high shine lip gloss, you cannot go wrong. Really lovely colour again. I'm buzzing about the fact that glossy lips are back in. So we've now got the gloss on the top along with the liner and the crayon. I mean, that liner and gloss combo is going to be my new go-to. That is beautiful. That will be a lovely Christmas day lip. So there we have it. We've gone through two calendars. Comparing the two, we got 25 gifts in each. The value, the Marks and Spencers one was a lot more, but you have to spend 25 pounds to buy the Marks and Spencers one as well. So price-wise, as long as you've got something you want to buy in Marks and Spencers, then they're about the same, 40, 42. The number seven one, you do have to go on a waiting list. It sells out really quickly, whereas the Marks and Spencers one, they have got there still. In terms of the range of products we got, I felt like it was really good from both. I loved that number seven included things like a beauty blender and tweezers and makeup wipes and things like that. But then with the Marks and Spencers one, a, I get to try all these new cool brands that I might not have tried anyway. And B, I'm trying things like neck creams that I wouldn't have gone for before and things like that. So if you want to try new brands, branch out, take a bit of a risk, 
go for the Marks and Spencers one. If you wanna, we are spending 40 pounds here. If you want to know that you can trust every product that's gonna be in there and you're gonna get a really cool array of things, then just go with the number seven one because we know number seven, we trust number seven, great products in there. Want to just have a nice beauty advent calendar either. I'm so impressed with both of them. I can't wait to use all these products. And I'm just loving you all for sticking with me, watching this. Hopefully you found it interesting and it's helped you make a decision on your advent calendar. Sorry that my camera died halfway and you got an outfit and makeup change. And just love you. Let me know what you think in the comments and what else you want to see. Bye, angels.